Hi everyone, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can export and relink audio that you've recorded directly to the Iconoscope AKM D2. And to do that I'm going to use two tools, the AKM D2 Audio Tool and DaVinci Resolve. Now as you probably know, the AKM D2 records audio by breaking the audio files up and storing a piece of the audio file in each Cinema DNG frame. So the first thing we need to do is use the Iconoscope AKM D2 Audio Tool to extract our audio files. So in front of me I have the AKM D2 audio tool open and I'm working on my Macintosh laptop because while this audio tool is a free download from the Iconoscope website, it does only work on Macintosh computers. Basically all I need to do is select the folder that contains my clips, then select the destination where I want my clips to be exported to, and then choose which output formats I want. Now, because we're going to be relinking this with DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to select Broadcast Wave Format, or BWF. And the reason I'm going to use that format is because it contains the timecode metadata that I'll need to easily relink the audio files with my footage in DaVinci Resolve. Now, in previous versions of the audio tool, you used to have to rewrap the Broadcast Wave files so that they could be seen in DaVinci Resolve. But with the updated version, you no longer have to do that, so this process is even easier. So once I've selected my broadcast wave format, I'm just going to select my two clips and hit export. And you'll see that my two audio clips have in fact exported, and that they already have the .wave extension on the end, so that they're ready to go directly into DaVinci Resolve. So now I'm going to move over to my PC and DaVinci Resolve, and show you how easy it is to link these audio files with your original footage. Okay, so now I'm on my PC and I'm working in DaVinci Resolve and I've imported my two video clips and my two audio clips into my media pool. And if we take a look at our start time code of our audio clip and then the start time code of our video clip, we can see that in fact those are the same. And if I go into the conform panel and I just right click on my master timeline and then choose Link with Audio from Selected Bins. You'll see a speaker icon appears at the bottom of my clips. And if I scrub through these clips, you'll see that I do now have audio connected to my files. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful in showing you how you can extract audio recorded directly to the Iconoscope ACAM D2 using the audio tool, and then how you can relink those extracted audio files to your footage using DaVinci Resolve. Thanks so much for watching.